Hello everyone. I'm privileged to be part of IDS webinar and I would like to express my sincere pleasure to be able to share with you current knowledge about combined Nevi. Why combined Nevi are so interesting? Well, so far there is no universal, comprehensive or consistent definition of combined Nevi. Clinically, these neoplasms refers to simultaneous presence of at least two distinct nevus components. From the histopathological point of view, combined nevi are determined by the presence of two or more different nevus cell types in one biopsy specimen. This definition is based on cytomorphology, which is not discernible in vivo, neither by examination with an unaided eye nor by dermatoscopy. Let me introduce you some characteristics of combined nevi. They comprise any melanocytic nevi, but the most frequent combinations are these that you can see on the screen. So, superficial congenital and blue nevus, Spitz and Clark nevus, superficial congenital and deep penetrating nevus, blue and Spitz nevus. Combined nevi that contain portions of a blue nevus, called combined blue nevi, are distinct because they are typified by a blue structuralist part that is easily recognizable with an unaided eye or by dermatoscopy. Because other types of combined nevi are not discernible in vivo, the term combined nevus, when used by clinicians, usually refers to the combined blue nevus subtype. Since combined blue nevi are composed of distinct nevi variously combined, their appearance could be very diverse and consequently they can have variable clinical aspects and dermatoscopic features, mostly multi-component, unspecific and peculiar patterns. From a dermatoscopic point of view, combined blue nevi are alarming because they may mimic melanoma as they may be asymmetric with regard to pattern or color, means chaotic, and because importantly, the blue color is not hallmark of combined blue nevi only, but also an important clue to melanoma. The current literature of the dermatoscopy of combined blue nevi is limited to case reports or small case series. Therefore, International Derm Dermoscopy Society officially announced the study on their web portal. The aim of this study were to better characterize the dermatoscopy of combined blue nevi on a larger series of cases and to compare their dermatoscopic characteristics with melanomas that are partially blue in color. The call was open for a year and a half and histopathologically confirmed combined blue nevi had been retrospectively collected from different dermatology centers. For the time, 186 cases of combined blue nevi were assembled from eight countries. Cases were excluded as they were lacking the inclusion criteria of or if they were duplicated. So finally, 111 combined blue nevi were included in the study. Furthermore, from the International Skin Imaging Collaboration Data Archive, more than 2,000 dermatoscopy images of melanoma with the blue part have been reviewed and 132 cases have been selected for the analysis. What we meant by the analysis is that images of all the cases were evaluated for the presence of predefined criteria showed in a table. Based on the clinical images, assessment was made of whether the lesion were flat or raised. The dermatoscopic images of all the selected cases of combined blue nevi and melanomas were analyzed according to pattern analysis and chaos and clues algorithm for the presence of those dermatoscopic criteria. Based on the results, male patients were more frequent, mean age of the patients was 37 years, while patients with melanomas were significantly older. In terms of location of the lesion, the majority of combined blue nevi were located on the trunk as well as melanomas, but 
In comparison to melanoma, combined blue nevi were more often located on the head and neck region, less often on the lower extremities. Most combined blue nevi were flat or slightly elevated. Dermatoscopically, combined blue nevi were typified by a blue structureless part, but in contrast to melanoma, the blue part of combined blue nevi was more often well-defined and more often located in the center of the lesion. Blue structureless part in combined blue nevi was presented in combination with either brown clots symmetrically in almost half of the cases, lines in quarter of the lesions, and with skin colored or brown structureless areas that were noted in almost 30% of the cases. In regards to pres presence of vessels in the lesion, in combined blue nevi and melanomas, arrangement of the vessels was significantly different. If present, vessels were commonly monomorphic in combined blue nevi. And to summarize, combined blue nevi are usually flat or slightly elevated lesion on the trunk, but in comparison to melanoma, more frequent on the head and neck area. Dermatoscopically, they are typified by a blue structureless part in combination with either brown clots, lines, skin colored or brown structureless areas. In contrast to melanoma, the blue part of combined blue nevi is more often well-defined and in the center of the lesion. Melanomas, on the other hand, are more often chaotic and have at least one additional melanoma clue, like gray structures, pseudopods, radial lines, thick reticular lines, ulcerations, polygons, polymorphous vessels, in particular, white lines. Combined blue nevi, if chaotic, usually lack melanoma clues, especially white lines. And with this, I would like to thank you for your attention and I really hope that this lesson would be useful in your everyday practice.